All right, so in this video, I wanted to show you guys myself and the family doing a little bit of dye action. I actually bought some vans for the entire family and decided to try to do a shaving cream dye on the canvas upper of the vans. And it was kind of an interesting take. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we did. What is going on guys, Hess here. Hopefully you're having a good day out there. Thank you for stopping by and watching this. So if you guys wanna buy any of the vans in the video or any of the items that we use to create the shaving cream dye, check the links in the description and it will take you over to like Amazon to be able to buy all the items. But uh, this is a really fun process to try to do. However, I will caution you, it is dye. So kids and dye don't usually mix very well and it was a little bit challenging for the little ones, but uh, worth trying out nonetheless. Anyway, here is the video showing you guys what we did.
as you can see, the results are in. And honestly, it was a really interesting experiment. There was definitely a couple things I would do differently if I could, but all in all, it was pretty fun to try out and see what we ended up working with. When you tie dye stuff, usually if you soak it in soda ash first, it helps the dye absorb once you actually apply the dye. And I didn't do that in this case. However, it still worked. It's maybe a little bit more vibrant if I would have done that. The other thing I would have done a little bit differently is taped off the midsole and the outsole of the shoe. I decided not to because I thought if I really want to take off the additional dye, I can use some acetone after the fact and take it off, which I can still do. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, but acetone will remove the extra stuff usually from the midsole. So those are two things I would have done. The third thing would be probably remove the insoles if I had that option. But with these bands, I actually couldn't remove the insole. So it is what it is. I probably would have taped down the insoles though. So no dye would have gone through. But all in all, I think it was a fun little experiment. Out of the four pairs of sneakers, I would say Maddie's is the clear winner. I love the way hers came out. The marbling on both of the toes were great. The color combinations with the red and the blue and little hits of lime green, just super, super good. I'd love to see a hoodie like these. And she's so funny because she's like, those shoes look like your hoodies, dad. And I thought that was really cool. Anyway, the technique for these is different than the ice dye. This was actually my first attempt at using a uh, shaving cream dye. And it was an Ultra Boost Clima, which was really wild and interesting one to do it. But it came out pretty cool. Like some of the things in the back look really wild. And I was kind of going with an ocean vibe since it's a parlay um, pair of Ultra Boost right here. So that's the way these came out. I think it looked really cool. But I ended up doing that years ago. And since then, I've seen a lot of trends and stuff on TikTok of shaving cream dyes. I was like, dude, I did that a while ago. But now um, it's kind of more to the masses. And it's actually a really fun experiment to try for those people that haven't tried it. But I didn't have a ton of colors. I was just kind of using what I had. Harrison's came out pretty cool too. He used like browns, blacks, and greens, and it actually came out like that. I was like, dude, yours is gonna look like poop. But it ended up looking like a kind of like a tree, foresty dirt sort of vibe to it. But unfortunately he grew already since I bought these and he has such a wide foot that he couldn't really even make these work. So tried them on for me, but not gonna be able to wear them unfortunately. Then the wives probably came out the worst, which is my fault because I actually am the one that dyed these. She was too busy cleaning up the kids from there too that they did. So I ended up trying to do these ones for her. But for some reason hers just ended up more blue than anything. And I think that part of the reason again was maybe that soda ash, but also the marbling that we did wasn't done so well the kids were like hyper marbled and it worked a lot better it just didn't get enough of the dye on the shoes and so it was kind of unfortunate and then mine has like a bunch of different blues and stuff and i kind of like it the way it came out it's not super crazy but all in all like i think that it looks pretty cool it's definitely something that uh, i would wear and that's pretty much the experiment i thought it'd be fun to be able to do this with the kids it is messy though. Three-year-old, maybe not so much. Six-year-old, even crazier because he just wants to splash everything around. Uh, so yeah, I would uh, consider that when you're trying to, to do these with the kids. It might be best for you to uh, have them help, but then you do all the work uh, pretty much in the end, which is pretty much like being a parent anyway, right? Anyway, have a good rest of the day. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching. And again, if you guys want to try this experiment yourself, we used canvas shoes. Canvas is definitely the easiest thing to apply uh, when you're doing the shaving cream dye. So anyway, have a good one. And hopefully uh, this was somewhat informative to you guys. And uh, yeah, check back for some more sneaker videos soon. All right, peace guys.